the time bomb under Yellowstone, experts warn of 90,000 immediate deaths and a nuclear winter across the U.S. if supervolcano erupts. A supervolcano in the heart of America's northwest has the potential to blanket the U.S. in a nuclear winter. If it were to erupt, the Yellowstone supervolcano would be 1,000 times as powerful as the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption, experts claim. While it has lain dormant for more than 70,000 years, scientists say that we can't rule out the possibility eruption this may someday take place although they say the chances are extremely slim. The volcano at Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming and Montana sits atop a huge reserve of molten rock and last erupted 640,000 years ago. It is one of the largest active continental silicic volcanic fields in the world. Silicic is used to describe magma or igneous rock rich in silica. Experts say there is a 1 in 700,000 annual chance of a volcanic eruption at the site. An in-depth report by How Stuff Works has revealed the process that would take place if the volcano were to blow. It says that a mixture of magma, rocks, vapor, carbon dioxide and other gases would eventually push out from the ground, creating a dome shape with cracks. The dissolved gases would them explode, releasing the magma across the park the eruption, the say could kill as many as 90,000 people almost instantly and release a 10 feet, 3 meter, layer of molten ash 1,000 miles, 1,609 kilometers, from the park. The ash would block off all points of entry from the ground, and the spread of ash and gases into the atmosphere would stop most air travel, just as it did when a much smaller volcano erupted in Iceland in 2010 the magazine writes. Sulfuric gases released from the volcano would spring into the atmosphere and mix with the planet's water vapor. The haze of gas that could drape the country wouldn't just dim the sunlight, it also would cool temperatures. It adds that falling temperatures would damage our food supply, destroying crops and causing a worldwide food shortage. But not every believes a Yellowstone eruption would be as catastrophic as this. Last year, a study by the United States Geological Survey, USGS, concluded that a volcanic eruption at Yellowstone would cover cities across the country with ash and shut down air travel and communications. But it added that it would not herald the end of the United States as we know it, as the latest report has claimed. The scientists used the program called Ush 3 d to model the effects of a Yellowstone super-eruption and found that cities up to 300 miles from the park would be covered by up to 3 feet of ash. Cities further afield in the Midwest would be covered by a few inches and coastal cities such as New York and California would get only a fraction of an inch. One was 2.1 million years ago, another 1.3 million years ago and a third 640,000 years ago. Ash from these eruptions has been found across the U.S. on the east and west coasts. The last volcanic activity at Yellowstone was 70,000 years ago which produced a lava flow in the south of the park. In April, scientists at the University of Utah discovered an enormous secondary chamber deeper beneath Yellowstone National Park that's so large it is partly molten rock could fill the Grand Canyon 11 times over.